Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. This is your weekly oracle card guidance. Go ahead to make a selection from the numbers one, two and three uh, for the different readings and you can go directly down to the timestamp and to your reading. All right, so for those of you who've chosen the option number one, we're asking what is your weekly oracle card guidance? What is the message that you've come here to hear? And what is it that you need to know right now? So we have the card uh, number 31 and it's titled free from judgment, free to love. And I think this card speaks quite clearly about leaving behind any emotion that may keep you trapped in a particular situation, uh, a, a kind of emotion that where you feel that you owed something or you feel like that person did you wrong or you feel perhaps that uh, justice has not been um, has not prevailed here and therefore you still need to fight in a particular situation I feel like here it's it's in order to move on or in order to understand that it's time to break free to move on what needs to happen is that you need to free yourself from, from judging the other or from having any kind of negative emotion or any kind of emotion at all that holds you uh, trapped in a situation with another. I feel also that this card speaks to how your um, energy can be depleted or your energy can be leaked by you paying too much of attention to things that um, that don't matter that much or perhaps the, it feels like it matters a lot to you but in the wider scheme of things it doesn't matter that much and it is okay to actually walk away from these things it is okay not to judge any longer not to hold on any longer and to be free enough to to walk away from it in the same vein it feels like um if you've been in a particular situation and you've been wanting to run away from it and uh, you've been quite judgmental about the situation that you've been in, you've been quite critical about where you've been or how you've been with a particular person or a particular space that you've been in or pick a particular environment, uh, institution, somewhere where you work or study or something like that. Um, this card, Free from Judgment, Free to Love, talks about you actually releasing some of that, uh, the the ideas or the the conception that you have that you have of others that you may have built um justifiably over time however it is standing in the way of you actually gaining the best that you can from such a relationship with that place or with that person or those people and i feel here that if you were to release some of the um feelings here that hurt you or some of the feelings that hold you back in some way with re regardless of how they came to be about that it will leave more space to love it will leave more space for you to progress more space for you to understand uh, harmony in a particular situation and harmony as it prevails as a form of love I feel that there's a lot of room here for you to move about or to to um, kind of dream but also to do and if you're feeling quite trapped in a situation if that's the feeling that you're getting right now you have right now in your life like you can't really make headway like you don't know whether you know you can actually get out of a particular situation that you're in this card is here to say well you know what you can dream and there's so much of potential there's so much of potential to actually change up your environment to change up that relationship with that person perhaps it's a loved one perhaps it's a it's a colleague um but that there is so much of room here for more or for things to work out in a way that is um, really going to work out well for you ultimately then I think I also want to mention here that there's a lot of serenity and harmony that exists or that has the potential to exist around you during this week and um, where you can actually create that space for yourself with that serenity, with that harmony, with that peace. And you, it might be that you were um, searching for that or you were lacking that in the last weeks. But now in this week, there's space for that. I also feel that if you are feeling quite uncomfortable in your home, um, or you feel like you want to get out of your home, uh, that, you know, 
like just painting it or giving it a different coat of something or reorganizing the furniture might actually work out well. So if you'd been planning to leave, like, you know, you're planning to leave a job or planning to leave your country or your land or your city, and there's been some kind of delay or some kind of hold up, or you're not quite certain right now of whether it's a good idea to go or not, then just give your place a different look and uh, reinvent it and and see how you feel in that space because sometimes that's all you need to just simply shift the energy and shift the way you feel you don't need to travel to the other side of the world to be able to do that so for those of you who uh, that message applies to then uh, yeah that's the, that's the message there you can do something small um, you know that kind of decorate to your place and creates that feeling that you would like to feel that you are searching for and that it's all within your grasp it's all within your 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 um your means it's all within your your means you can't pay for that you it's not like you you are going to struggle to do so or struggle with money or be dependent on somebody else because you need to do it these are all things that you can actually do for yourself if you need to 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 do it and it might actually benefit you in the long term all right so i'm going to leave it at that and i hope that that's been a helpful message for you and i'm wishing you a wonderful week as you go along so for those of you who've chosen the option number two we're asking what is your weekly oracle card guidance what is it that you've come here to hear what is that message that applies to you this week that you need to hear um and that you won't be able to get anywhere else necessarily Okay, so this card is the number 35 and there is, it's the card called Conscious Connections. Now I feel here that uh, there are times in your life where you feel like not necessarily connecting with someone or you might feel like it's not really the right time for you to go out there. Uh, or you may feel a bit introverted or you may it may be that you are fighting with yourself as to whether to go out there and to be with people or to be with yourself even if you are somebody who's quite bubbly somebody who's quite extroverted and likes to be with people there's this part of uh there's this message here that shows me that that you fight with yourself about that or it's something that you need to think about at times and it's not something that's coming so naturally it's not something that's coming so easily to you and I feel here that uh, as you as you go about in this week, it's necessary to bring that kind of conversation that you have with yourself to the fore, uh, to your mind, and think about whether you want to make an effort uh, quite deliberately to go out and meet people, quite deliberately to um, connect with others. You know, maybe it's just about bringing uh, some flowers from the field to, to your to your neighbor, or maybe it's just about um, you know, just saying hello in a friendly way to somebody that you see almost every day and and being able to feel uh, a sincerity, a kind of, um, it's almost like a love, like an openness of your heart when you're greeting this person or when you're bringing them something or when, you, when you're offering a bit of advice or you say offering some kind of pleasantry. I feel like there's a sense here that that is so needed in you and you can understand or manifest or kind of um, create a whole new version of yourself if you were to be more folk um, not focused I would say but more conscious of creating connections uh, which uh, you are uh, somehow aware of or uh, committed to in some kind of way you're committed to that idea of connecting with people as opposed to putting your head down walking away or just being a bit shy I feel like this card is if you are somebody who's quite shy if you are somebody who struggles with that and this card is almost saying well this week is a week for you to um give that a toss and just try to understand how you could relate to other people how you could engage with other people and and explore that part of you because that is going to be enriching for you ultimately and it will be enriching for that person who's on the receiving end as well I feel here yeah, that it's also important not to say that you need you're going to give up yourself or you're going to give up a part of yourself or that you're not being yourself or you're being unauthentic 
or not as authentic when you decide to explore a different version of yourself and you try to uh, maintain conscious connections. There's also a sense of being able to see uh, oneself in another and being able to understand oneself better as a result of being able to see uh, that kind of behavior uh, in another person. And so being able to uh, um, expose yourself to that or, or subject yourself to that, <laughs> however you may put it, is actually going to be an important part of this week in order for you to be able to grow, in order for you to go uh, further in your in yourself and to be able to um can kind of um, have some sense of of integration or or connection with those around you with those in your environment if you are indeed fighting with yourself with the the part of you that's introverted and the part of you that's extroverted uh, this card's also talking about how you don't need to choose one you can be one or the other depending on how you feel and what your mood is, and that is being more authentic, that is being more in touch with yourself and how you really feel. You don't have to confine yourself to a particular way of being and you don't have to be defined in one way or the other. You can simply be as you choose to be on a particular day and as you are drawn to being in that particular time. So I think the message to take away from this week's Oracle Card Guidance is that take a moment to to recognize those around you. Take a moment to create conscious connections with those that you come in touch with on a more regular basis and as well as maybe perhaps people that you don't come into contact with on a regular ba basis. But also uh, allow yourself not to... Um, you know, to swing between being introverted, being closed off and being open to others. I feel here that, that you are will, you will be enriched by the connection that you have with other people in this week and perhaps the week after as well. But I think what's interesting here is that you need to be able to give yourself the permission to create those connections. I feel here also that, you know, you have to understand that, uh, with regard to other people, that they're not always showing you uh, the part of them that is true, the part of them that is really um, the real part of them, and that not everyone is always being vulnerable or showing their vulnerability to you. And somehow that it's also a message here this week that, you know, don't necessarily take what you're getting at face value you know maybe it's not saying necessarily dig deeper but understand that there's more going on and if you do have a conscious connection with another then you are aware of that and you don't necessarily need to take any action in that regard but that uh, just the awareness of it is something that's going to be valuable as we go along in this week all right so i hope that's been a helpful message and i wish you a very very good week as you go along Thank you. And so for those of you who've chosen the option number three, we are asking the question, what is your weekly oracle card guidance? What is your weekly guidance as you've come here to hear? And what is that message that you need to take away right now that's actually that message that you need uh, to complement your week? And so it's the number 16 and the card reads, what you want, wants you. And I absolutely love this card. I love that idea that uh, what you want, wants you, because the feeling that everything is synchronistic and everything is kind of in a motion with each other that is complementing each other and in harmony with each other it really appeals to me. So, and this card is talking about that. It's talking about how what you want, what you deserve, or what you desire will not pass you by. So if there's been something that you've actually wanted, but you've been feeling that it's out of your reach for whatever reason, or you can't quite access it, or it's difficult for you to be able to uh, just, you know, get your hands on it, or the idea, even the idea of having it is way too much and it kind of scares you, uh, or it... it you know, it kind of makes you feel smaller in some kind of way. Well, here's your answer. 
this this card is really your answer because it's saying that you know nothing can pass you by if it's meant to be if it's meant to actually be yours then it's going to come your way it's going to be easier for you there's going to be a pathway an easy pathway for you to be able to achieve what you it is that you want to achieve whether it is that you're in love with someone and you're wondering about the relationship the path would be simple not complicated you know um it's not a straight line necessarily all the time, but it is something that is not going to take that much of effort. There's going to be a divine intervention and that a divine role that's played is going to be helping out quite a lot. And it almost makes you f feel like it's effortless. And I feel that's the case with regard to um, whatever it is that you desire. Perhaps you've been wanting to buy a car and it's been quite... Um, you know, a strenuous time for you because you've just not been feeling like you can have the one that you want or you can't uh, get the 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 card that you want for the price that you want, etc. And so, you know, perhaps there are challenges around it and, and whatever it is that you're trying to purchase, whatever it is that you're trying to do, uh, whatever it is that you want to get your hands on and you feel like it's slipping between your fingers or you just can't quite grasp it. Well, then this card is, is there to, to remind you that Whatever it is, is going to come your way. It's going to come your way. It wants you as badly as you want it. And that's the beauty of it, that if you have that vibration, if you uh, have that uh, frequency um, at which you're vibrating, which is the same as the item or the person or the being or the uh, whatever it is that you would desire, if it has a if it has the same vibration or the same frequency of vibration, um, it's going to match and you're going to find yourself drawn to each other anyway. And so there, you are going to be okay. You know, you're going to find what it is that you need. And I find this card extraordinarily satisfying for those of us that sometimes I get the sense that, you know, what it is that we want is out of our reach or what it is that we want is, is not um, as easily accessible as we need it to be. And I think that as you go along in this week, just remember that whatever it is that you want, it's going to fall into your lap. It's going to fall into your hands more easily than you you would require. So, you know, perhaps you still need to make the first phone call or perhaps you still need to make the inquiry. But then once you have done that, if it's meant to be yours, it's going to be yours. But the question is, how much do you want it? How much do you really want it? And, um, and if it is what you want, then then you will find that that which you want wants you back and it's going to find a way to you. It's going to be um, not as complicated to to become true for you. I feel here that, um, you know, just a little bit of faith goes a long way. And so, you know, you don't need to do uh, elaborate rituals and manifestation, meditations and things that, that are going to draw your uh, manipulations that are going to draw you whatever it is that you desire to you. You can simply, you know, put that thought out there, put that idea out there into the universe and it's going to actually find a way to you. And um, this card is really talking about that effortlessness that comes along with it. And I think that that is quite a lovely feeling to have. It's quite a lovely um, idea to behold. And I think it's also quite a lovely message to have as well. Whatever it is that you want that wants you um, may come towards you as if it was lucky. It's almost like there's a divine intervention. There's a kind of luck element involved here something that you can't quite grasp it's not going to be what you do that makes it possible it's going to be made possible by the forces that be that um that bring you together perhaps such as just the law of magnetics in order for that to happen there needs to be some degree of letting go some degree of uh, giving a bit of space releasing a little bit giving um you know um loosening the leash um not holding on so tight but just simply loose, loosening the leash and letting it kind of flow with ever more ease and just letting it come to you so i feel here that as you go along this week if there's something that you desperately desire if there's something that you desperately need put that thought out there put that idea out there 
and watch as it comes to you. Give it a bit of space, give it a bit of room and then just watch as it comes to you. There's going to be some kind of um, proving of that where it just comes to you with a lot of ease and you're going to be having that wow factor. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to leave it there. Well, I hope that you've uh, enjoyed uh, the reading and I hope that this message helps you as you go along in this week. And so um, I'm wishing you a very, very blessed week as you go along and many, many um good wishes and stay healthy and safe and blessings abound from Kismet Rising.